Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT. In this video, I'm going to explore the history of ChatGPT and why it's been banned in so many countries. ChatGPT is an AI language model that uses deep learning to generate human-like text. It was developed by OpenAI and released in 2019. ChatGPT is trained on a massive data seed of text from the internet, which allows it to generate text that is almost indistinguishable from text written by humans. ChatGPT has been used to write scripts, descriptions, and titles for YouTube videos, as well as articles, blog posts, and social media posts. ChatGPT was specifically designed to be used as a chatbot. It was trained on a data set of conversations and was able to learn how to generate human-like text in response to a wide range of prompts. ChatGPT is banned in several countries due to various reasons. Some countries such as Russia, China, North Korea, Cuba, Iran, Syria, and Italy banned the application based on privacy concerns, while others claim that the tool could have profoundly negative impacts on society if used inappropriately. ChatGPT is also not accessible in Eritrea, Eswatini, Libya, South Sudan, and Yemen. Italy was the first Western and European country to ban ChatGPT in April 2023 due to concerns about data privacy violations. China has concerns that the U.S. could U.S. platforms like ChatGPT to spread misinformation and influence global narratives. Due to its strict rules against foreign websites and applications, and the current low point in relations between China and the United States, China has banned ChatGPT February 2023 and it is unlikely that it would allow other platforms similar to ChatGPT to operate across its borders. ChatGPT was banned in Russia in March 2023 due to concerns about national security. ChatGPT E is banned in North Korea due to the country's strict censorship laws. The ban of ChatGPT in several countries can have a significant impact on its users. One, as seen in Italy, users in banned countries may lose access to ChatGPT, which could be a valuable tool for their business or personal use. Two, ChatGPT can enhance productivity for coding and professional writing tasks. Therefore, the sudden ban can have negative effects on individual productivity. Three, users may swiftly implement strategies to bypass internet restrictions, but this adaptation activity creates short-term consequences. Four, the ban of ChatGPT in some countries is due to concerns about sensitive data exposure. Users may be concerned about the safety of their personal data and may avoid using ChatGPT or similar tools. Five, if the Italian grantee wins its case against OpenAI, other governments may begin to investigate more technologies to see if they violate similar guidelines for the safety of personal data in younger audiences. In conclusion, the ban of ChatGPT in several countries can have a significant impact on its users, including loss of access to a valuable business tool, negative impact on productivity, adaptation to bypass internet restrictions, fear of sensitive data exposure, and potential for more bans. Imagine a world where ChatGPT is used to create a utopia, a world where everyone has access to food, water, and shelter, a world where everyone is educated and healthy, a world where everyone is free to live their life to the fullest. This is the bright future of ChatGPT, a world where this powerful AI tool is used to create a better future for all. I hope that we choose to use ChatGPT for good. Thank you for watching this video about the dark history of ChatGPT. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of the potential risks associated with this powerful AI tool.